this is the only message you're going to get to me. I love you. I'm alive. We need help. If you have people here, they're not going to help us. We are out of you. There's no U.S. on be here. Uh, that was the desperate message a Tanawanda woman left her daughter this morning. The woman is stuck on the island of St. Martin along with her boyfriend. The two were on vacation when Irma plowed through. News 4's Jen Schantz is looking into efforts to bring them home. Jen. Jackie, that's right. U.S. officials know that Sherry Cruz and Chris Mazaros are stranded on St. Martin right now. Cruz's daughter, Nicole Bilson, is also in contact with Western New York lawmakers. According to Congressman Brian Higgins' office, there are at least three cases of local people stuck on that island at this time. The two landed there late last week. They were on vacation and knew Irma was approaching, but didn't believe it would be this bad. The airport and seaports on St. Martin are essentially gone. According to their hotel's website, Dutch military is working to repair a landing strip so additional food and water can be delivered. Nicole says her mother had to walk a few miles to get any cell service in order to call her and leave that message. She hasn't been able to talk to her her in a few days. Cruz and Mazaros are both from Tonawanda. They're now stuck in their hotel along with around 150 other guests. Bilson says her mother also expressed concern they were running low on supplies. They have around two days left of the people at the resort to, to last food and water and, and there's nothing and she said she loved me. My heart goes out to not only the people of the islands, but the local local families who are like myself just waiting to hear if their families are okay and we want them home. Now, because power is out on so much of the island, direct communication to anyone has been a real problem. There is no U.S. embassy on St. Martin, so the State Department has advised American citizens to seek shelter. There are several of them, and to call the local 911 if they need help. All that information can be found on our website, WIVB.com. We, of course, will keep in touch with Nicole and bring you the very latest on these two locals trying to get home. Live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.